بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ دا ہولی قرآن دا مس کنسیپشن آئی لائک ٹو برنگ ان ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ریلیٹس دا بلیسنگ آف ریڈنگ سورہ دہر ناؤ دیر آر پرائمرلی ٹو نیریٹوز وچ آر ریکارڈ ان دس ریگارڈ اینڈ بوتھ آف دیم ہیو ایگزیکٹلی دا سیم ٹیکسٹ ہاؤ ایور دیئر چینج آف نیریشن آر ڈفرنٹ بٹ بفور وی کامنٹ آن دا چینج آف دیئر نیریشن اٹ از پر ہیپس مور اپروپریٹ ٹو جس ریڈ آٹ اے ٹیکسٹ بفور یو Now, this, uh, both of these narratives have been reported by Ubayy ibn Ka'ab r.a. anhu from the Prophet Muhammad s.a.w. And the text is that uh, the Prophet is reported to have said, مَنْ قَرَى سُورَةَ هَلْ أَتَى كَانَ جَزَاؤُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ جَنَّةً وَحَرِيرًا So, a person who recites Surah Dahar, then it is mandatory upon him, upon the Almighty to grant him uh, orchards and silk in the hereafter, of course. So, this is, of course, uh, a comprehensive expression of the fact that he shall be rewarded in the hereafter. Now, as far as the change of narration of uh, these uh, two narratives are concerned, both of them are slightly different. But for the first of them uh, has been regarded to be concocted by Hafiz ibn Hajar, and this is perhaps on the basis of two very, very important narrators, and one of them is Harun ibn Kasir, who is regarded to be uh, majhul by Abu Hatim, and the other one is Salam ibn Sulaim al-Mada'ini, about whom Hafiz ibn Mizzi has uh, recorded various uh, comments by various Rajal authorities. And I'll just read out uh, the, the very prominent uh, of these comments before you. Uh, Yahya ibn Amain says that he's Laysa Bishai, and another comment which, he's, uh, which is ascribed to him uh, regarding Salam ibn Sulaim is, Za'ifun la yuktabu hadithuhu. Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Ammar al-Musli says he's Laysa bi Hujja, and Ibrahim bin Yaqub al-Juzjani says that he's Ghayr al-Siqa. Abu Zura'a and Abu Hatim regard him to be Za'if, and Imam Bukhari, Imam Nisai, and Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Kharash say that he's Matruq, he's been abandoned by authorities, and... Uh, Another comment by Imam Nisai is that he is Laysa Bisiqa wa la yuktabu hadithuhu. And Abu Qasim al-Bughwi says that he is Za'if al-Hadith Jiddan. And Abdurrahman bin Yusuf bin Khirash also says that he is Kazzab, that he is a liar. And perhaps it is on the basis of this information that uh, Hafiz ibn Hajar has regarded his narrative to be uh, absolutely concocted. Uh, as far as the other narrative is concerned, it is found in Salibi's tafsir. And this, this narrative too cannot be regarded as reliable because... Uh, Nafil ibn Rakim and Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Sada are two, uh, two of uh, the narrators which are found here about whom we are not able to find any jar or tardil or about whom uh, there is no information which actually exists uh, regarding their whereabouts and details. S uh, similarly, another weakness in this narrative is that if the person of Asim bin Bahdullah is found in its chain of narration and we know that Asim bin Bahdullah has been regarded by our by Rajal authorities to have, a, have an extremely weak memory. And uh, this is uh, the, the case here as well. So on the basis of this information, uh, the Salabi's narrative also, uh, which is regarded in disregard, uh, cannot be uh, properly or correctly ascribed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu So uh, we can say in, in summary that both these narratives uh, have to be rejected and they are, uh, their, their chains of narration are such that they are what they, they say is not, is not correctly, cannot be regarded to be correctly ascribed to the Prophet Muhammad So all in all, the, the, the better way in reaping the blessings of a surah is to have a living relationship with that surah and that comes about by having a deep deliberation on the meanings of the surah in understanding those meanings, in acting upon them, in communicating its message to other people. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.